delicious and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, this is part two of moving cacti and succulents that we have got either inside this big polytunnel that need to come out for the spring and summer, or the cacti and succulents that we've got in the house that we had overwintering that we're going to be bringing out for the spring and summer into the yard and into our little white polytunnel. And today's video is going to be... Uh, moving the big tall serious cactus plants and some of the smaller serious ones as well and we've got quite a lot of different types of serious cactus plants mostly trichocereus that we have here in the big green polytunnel a lot of them are very tall and we've got some coming into bud which I'm mega excited about this is one of our trichocereoscopoli colas two buds on there and also there is a bud on our very tall trichocereus uh, scopoli cola but the bud is right at the top so obviously we're going to be moving that out and it is desperate for a repot as you can see but may have to hold back on repotting this big six foot giant until it's flowered because I don't want to disturb the buds and uh, very shriveled. These ones I haven't watered yet because although I, I did a video probably a week or two ago and I watered all of these, they've fattened up really nicely. I've held back on these because these are very, they're in large pots and they're very heavy to lift as it is. So if I water them, they're going to be twice the weight. But it's going to be good when we get them out to give them all a good water. We've also got quite a few serious plants inside the house that we overwinter in our grow room under the grow lights. And uh, they're mostly sort of pilosocereus and some of the tall euphorbias. They're not cold hardy plants and that's why we had to overwinter them inside the house. Trichocereus such as these are hardy cacti and that's why they were fine in here in the polytunnel over the winter. But we're going to be bringing them out as well and putting them all into the white polytunnel. I just want to mention as well, we have some of our smaller trichocereus and other cereus uh, cacti here, as well as some of our big euphorbias as well. So, and all the little ones, these are also going to be coming out into that white polytunnel too. And then it's going to mean I've got this all this table space here free. So we've got a lot of euphorbias, smaller euphorbias in my grow room that's, and the office and my office that are going to be coming onto these tables. So that's going to be great. May have to leave it for another day or two for them because they've st we're still having sort of five Celsius nights. So we have to be a little bit careful with euphorbia, but they should be pretty okay the next few days. Looks like the the night temperatures are going to be pretty good after the next couple of days or so. This one's not looking too good. This has a horrible black scabbing and it's probably got some type of damage last summer I noticed and uh, I think we're gonna have to cut this one back it's not spreading and it doesn't spread to the other plants it's when it when these trichoceros get damaged they have alkaloids in their skin that gives this black appearance and um, it's starting to heal over it's actually hard but it looks so unsightly um, we're gonna cut that to make it look a lot tidier and uh, that's going to be great and all these these are coming out this Oreo serious as well I'm just going to show you the polytunnel that we're going to be moving these giants into now this is our white polytunnel or greenhouse it's a much much smaller than our big big green polytunnel that's 10 by 20 feet this one is perfect for the tall serious cacti and because it has a natural shade cloth over it it's got a shade covering because it's white white tinted polytunnel it's going to be good I mean trichocereus they've been in the polytunnel anyway so they've had plenty of sun but if I was moving them directly out into a glass greenhouse or if this this greenhouse was completely clear clear plastic I would still give them some shading because it's still much brighter in here than in the big green polytunnel and uh, this is really important because when you're moving cacti and succulents from a shadier position into direct sun which a lot of people do when they bring their plants out for the spring and summer months they can suffer from sun scorch so you have to bear that in mind as I say this does have a natural um, sort of shade covering on it anyway so they're fine and it's a bit of an overcast day with sunny spells today perfect for moving them same with our our plants as we've got in the grow room the tall serious they've been under a strong grow light so they, they should be pretty fine but they still would need to be acclimatized if they were going into a glass greenhouse or a clear greenhouse how you can acclimatize them is either put them into a shady position in the garden away from direct sun for 
few days to let them acclimatize or you could cover some loosely throw some shade cover sh shade cloth over them which allows some sunshine to get through still but not direct not strong intense sun so they acclimatize a little bit better just have to mention that so um that's important now we're going to be moving this lawnmower out as well and we we have had we had this full of compost bags and everything like uh, over the winter and we've took them out into the house now to make room for the tall serious cactus plants but we just have to move the lawnmower which we can't really put into our polytunnel until we've moved the big tall ones and then that can go there and these are all the trays that we're going to be using to put the tall cacti plant tall cacti on to these are uh, big agaves they overwintered perfectly well in this unheated greenhouse and uh, they're going to be going back oh hello lucy here's lucy here's uh, lucy our lovely neighbor's cat she's gorgeous oh coming to see what's going on loose and these are going to be going into the yard as well to get plenty of uh, sun for the spring and summer I'm going to be cutting back all these dead leaves this always does this in the winter and i'll probably cut off these spikes as well because of lucy you have to be careful with agaves in your garden if you've got pets and you know they can be very sharp so cutting the spines off isn't going to hurt the agaves in any form just to let you know and it's purely they're purely there just to protect themselves but in your back garden yard it doesn't really matter it's just better to do that to be safe for pets so lucy is going to be um entertaining us today she is just the most beautiful cat oh i love her hear the purr on her it's like a tractor She's a happy little girl and uh, obviously because we have a lot of these big heavy cactus plants here that we're going to be moving we've got a lot to do today me and Hans are going to be doing it together and it's just normally I film the whole process of lifting all the plants out and everything but it's difficult to film with you know when you're trying to lift plants as well it's just going to be much easier to show you the before and after so I've shown you the 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 white polytunnel and where the plants are going to go and I'm going to show you what it looks like when they've all been put away Woohoo! that's the tall serious ones well most of them I've still got a couple left from the polytunnel in here and I have to see if I've got to move all this out so I'm working my way around it but uh, I've started off with that little corner here and now I'm just starting on with all the ones I've got in the um, indoors in the grow room. And I just want to mention, guys, if you love cacti and suckers and you happen to live in the UK, then I'm very happy to say that I'm an affiliate for the Funky Cactus. And they are an absolutely amazing cactus and succulent and houseplant store. Incredible collection of cacti and succulents. There's special 20% off um, with my affiliate link until the 26th of May 2023. So do go over. I'll put the link down below in the video description and 20% uh, off and you can see the amazing amazing cacti and succulents and this is my big Austrocylindria punctius subulata commonly known as the eaves needle cactus and it's a lovely big size and uh, just as I say I'm emptying the ones on the table into this with all the serious as well and it's always a good time when you bring plants in to check for mealybugs I've just found some I think that could be the makings of the very beginning of crawlers of mealybugs so I like to use some rubbing alcohol which I put into a little spray bottle and also use a little dabber as well and dab them off always good to check because all it needs is one one cactus or succulent with a mealybug or so on and it'll spread your collection fast I like to use neem oil as well once the growing season has fully started but until then I'm going to be dabbing as many I see any pests as many off as I can with the rubbing alcohol. Woohoo! That's uh, the majority of the Trichocereus, the taller ones anyway. That was in our big green polytunnel and also that we're in the grow room indoors out here into this white polytunnel for the uh, the rest of the spring and the summer months and as I mentioned I have got some smaller growing serious cacti in the green polytunnel so they're the only ones I have to move in now and uh, we've got a mixture of different types euphorbias as well so it's not all trichocereus I'll just show you here um, for example one of our lovely euphorbias there very very old I've had that since my early 20s a beauty and also this one euphorbia sudanica and uh, this comes into leaf 
sort of this time of year onwards it's all it's sort of got the very 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 beginnings of leaves coming at the top i don't know whether you can see but um little tiny little red marks there that come out with the the leaves so that's going to come into full growth and a mixture of many different types of cereus a lot of pylosa cereus that were that were in our grow room and different types of trichocereus as well and our booby cactus that was in the indoors in the grow room that's come out now and also our big uh, one of our big cereus spiralises so that's that's this done now i'm going to show you um what's left in the green big polytunnel the smaller growing uh, cereus plants that's going to be coming out in here so here i am back in our our big polytunnel here and the only ones we've got to bring out this is a um a cluster cactus um Close the cactus ball man eye and because we have it hanging up this is uh, one that we have to take down and hang up in the white in our white greenhouse so that's that still has to come out which I'm going to be doing now and then one of our trichocereus um, trichocereus peruvianus varieties and a lovely blue variety this one also we have to have hanging up so that's why I'm going to be doing that after and then I'll show you what we've got left here these smaller growing type of cereals got some small more like larger trichocereus seedlings there and other varieties we've also got our oreocereus that has to be coming out other oreocereus another cluster cactus at the back trichocereus there bridgesii and uh, more trichocereus and some younger trichocereus seedlings and another cluster cactus so this is what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done woohoo that's all of the tall cacti that um, we had in our big polytunnel and also that we had overwintering in our grow room all put away in this white polytunnel and uh, we've also got some some of the our poinsettias as well then absolutely amazing to get all this put away and as you can see there is a mixture of many many different types here mostly trichocereus and uh, pilosocereus and also some tall of our tall euphorbias and a mixture of different types. We've got Oreocereus as well and Cereus spiralis. Mixture of many different types and uh, Pachycereus marginatus, a big boy there as well. And it's sort of getting sort of late into the evening. So I'm going to water a lot of these up now because many of them have not been watered before because as I mentioned they're heavy to lift uh, when they've been watered so now they're all all dry they can all uh, and I've moved them all I can all have a bit of a water this here is our sawaru it's probably about eight years old now and some of our smaller trichocereus these were the ones that were in the polyton I did give them a water and I did a little video when I did and they've fattened up really nice but all the big tall ones in these big pots have not been watered yet so it's going to be so good to give them a good water the weather's been absolutely lovely as I say a bit overcast today which has been perfect for moving these in especially the ones that were in the grow room and they forecast um, nice warm weather tomorrow but we've uh, sunny spells and rain as well so that's good and the weather's sort of been lovely at the moment as well and happy to see buds as well this is one of our trichocereus i think it's trichocereus um, grandiflorus and that's coming into bud there nice hairy bud forming which is really exciting and i'm going to see a lot more a lot more growth as i say this is one this is a trichocereus pachanoi that got got damaged and um it's going sort of black but it's sort of healing over and they produce these black sort of it's due to the alkaloids in their skin it's not rot or anything like that although it looks very similar very unsightly we're just going to chop it but i think we might leave it because we've noticed the past day or so it's actually really hardening up now it's sort of warm and drying up and it would just go into a white scab we've had this happen before with trichocereus as you can see there and they sort of go into a scab and heal over so any type of mechanical damage it's purely aesthetic and they do heal over even if they look a bit scabby but i think it just adds a bit of character to them and uh, very good another one of our lovely old euphorbias there lots of seedlings trichocereus seedlings basically there's stuff well plants everywhere but the most important thing is i'm able to reach them all to water them and that is the most important thing um and i've also made sure that i've got lots of walking space in here as well i'll just walk out so you can see 
there's plenty of space on the floor and this is really important because it means when I walk into this polytunnel here I've not only got space to breathe I can sit in here and have a cup of coffee as well in the mornings and attend to the plants as well as the big greenhouse polytunnel and uh, also it means as well I've got this table here so when I'm doing my potting up and I'm doing my videos I can walk around I've got plenty of space as well so happy days and I'm just going to show you um, what we've got left in the polytunnel now this is uh, say into the big polytunnel and I've got lots and lots lots of stuff work to do in here over the next couple of weeks i'm going to be extremely busy and uh, we've put our two big tall tall plants here as well this is a big tall trichoceros a pachanoid cross with scopolicolia that's coming into bud there as you can see at the top and another large pelosa series that was in our grow room that's in there and the reason why we've left these two here and we've got them tied up at the top of the roof is because they're too tall for the white polytunnel so they're having to uh, stay in here but as i say lots more floor space now look at that got to give you all a bit of a clean in here and also these big aloes probably need to be pruning back and moving and um i've got plants everywhere because in the middle of uh watering and pruning and all the plant jobs you have to do now these are the three trays that all the smaller trichocereus and other serious cacti are on these have come out now and i've just got this lovely this is a lovely crassula falcata propeller plant that's going to stay there anyway and then i've got this big uh, bigger pontia here and uh, this is very sort of the glow kid you only have to look at it and it covers you so i'm going to be putting this out in the yard probably in the next couple of days and then these four trays then are going to be thoroughly cleaned and then it means I've got space then to bring all these smaller euphorbia and other type of cacti and succulents like the hylosoceris, the dragon fruits that I've got in my grow room and which is my office as well. I'm going to be bringing them down and putting them here so there's space for them. So that's going to be the next video, bringing all my euphorbia that I've been overwintering in the house and my other cacti and succulents that I've been overwintering indoors onto these trays in the polytunnel for the summer. So do stay tuned for that. So thanks so much for watching everybody and for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow many different types of cacti succulents then don't forget to subscribe, do click the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and with my Instagram you'll see lots of uh, photos of all the plants coming into flower and uh, also do check my website out desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day